okay so welcome back guys so let's just get started with the um, design um, so we want to verify our design in, in with spice so let's just go straight up remember this is what we're basically designing so I need n moles one n moles and two p moles right m1 m2 m3 I need a current source I need the voltage source for my VDD and yeah so uh, let's get started so you hit the insert button or uh, all this I I've done the explanation in digital um, part of the course so but I'm just going to refresh your memory either you call me a symbol no sorry um, tools so insert symbol or you just hit the, sh the insert button on your keyboard and you'll be here so you go to the PDK since it's transistors transistors should they, they are what we want to fabricate right so I just go to you go to your PDK directory so for me it's the GF180 directory for years it's going to be the Skywater so um, symbol I'm looking for and fits so I hit the OK button I need two I need two P moles so so P fits okay so two again I can just make a copy of this so you remember you select and hit the C button on your keyboard C for copy and there you go again the dry joke but not DJ copy so next I want to just look at how this is I want to orient it this way right so you just I should be skipping through all this navigating around the this this tool because it's been explained already in the digital aspect of the course so I'm just going to uh, but I'll just still be repeating sometimes so I, I want to rearrange this so I'll just hit shift R so for rotate um, but I'm still not okay the source should be up so I'm just going to do shift F for flip so now this the source is up let me align this properly okay then um, that's control Z to zoom out then I need um, current source right and the voltage source so um, current source you don't you're not fabricating current source right and you're not fabricating voltage source so I'm going to go out of the PDK directory and just go straight into the scheme directory so I can pick current source and voltage source from there so voltage source V source so V source okay yeah then next current source so I source I source for current source so the current source should be down here I would need two voltage sources but okay maybe for now I can just wait so um so let's let the wiring begin so I start the wiring so um you want to wire you hit this button and you come here or you just position where you want to start the wiring from and you press the W key on your keyboard and the wiring would start so W and I wire W to continue the wiring W to continue the wiring and I stop W W W So for the diode connected um, um formation then control Z. I just want to adjust this a little bit up 
because my screen is bad the my laptop screen is not that good okay so um, wire to ground wire long okay so for the outfit let me do the wiring here okay then the bulk the bulk of each transistors remember for iron mods we usually want to just connect to to the lowest power supply and which is um the ground for this case for the the bulk of the p mods want to connect to the highest power supply which is the vdd in this case so okay so so i need ground right so uh it's the insert button um ground you don't need to fabricate it so um i'm in the scheme um directory instead of the pdk so i have the ground then wire then so i need to wire up these two wire then i need ground too for that voltage source so c for copy then i need the label 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 for so insert then label so lab, lab, lab pin so lab pin label. so i'm labeling this so this would be vdd vdd So copy then I want to also label these points to VDD. Right. That's where VDD should be. Then I need two voltage sources for one for this output here, the inputs here. For the input. So I'll just make a copy of this C for copy and it's here so it will not be vdd it will be v in v in then i make a copy of this label to this point v in so and lastly one more label um for the outfit so so it won't be v in anymore to be uh, v out Yes. and um, I think we're almost done yeah so but the VDD is 3.3 volts this is 3.3 volts okay so based on what we've determined so let's now put those values into this design so I'm talking about the sizing the the sizing and the value of this current source here so what's the value of the current source so let's go back to our calculation so we got what so i sub is half of i total so that's 100 micro volts so double click it's 100 u u for micro So now the sizing for um, 
for M1, the sizing is um 27, but I break 28, right? So I just want to go with um okay, let's go with 28. So 28, that's the sizing, right? W over L, right? But right now would have to enter we have to enter the length and the width separately so that is you need to enter the values of the length and width that would give you the ratio of what 28 right so now some decisions to be made here um remember this jeff 180 um jeff 180 and um the minimum length here as you can see i think it is 0.28 micrometer so um i'm not going to be doing anything with the minimum length i'll try to go beyond the minimum length so you can choose your sizing you can choose the length yourself but don't make sure you're not choosing anything close to the minimum length try to go beyond and i mean this is analog um ic design right and for analog ic design length long length is not your enemy unlike digital so long length may be an enemy because digital is all about speed 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 but analog it's not like analog is not about speed but um in fact um length can even give you a good gain right so usually i like choosing length around like from 0 0.5 micrometer to like one micrometer for my length so you can just make the choice so if i'm going to be choosing the length to be let's say 0 0.8 micrometer so 0 0.8 micrometer what will be the width so you have to do 28 28 right so 28 times 0 0.8 that's what you're going to do so whatever you get that will be your length so that um yeah so um sorry that would be your width not your length if the length is 0 0.8 and times the sizing the w over l is 28 so whatever you get will be your width so the width will be 22 so if i'm choosing 0 0.8 for the length 0 0.8 for the length and so that means the width would be what 22.4 so that's it um don't put for for sky water don't be tempted to put the unit u don't don't do that there will be issue just put only the value that's all and also for sky water it's the vdd should be 1.8 not 3.3 .3, right so um, yeah now for the, the sizing of um um m2 and m3 we got approximately that's 106 but approximately 106.67 approximately 107 i would have liked to just use 106 but let's just go ahead and use 107 and see so that is depending if you run your simulation and you're not getting all what you need you can try to that, that is you still have the freedom to choose 106 remember i want to choose the approximated value but you can still try choosing the 106.6 if it's going to give a better result so but let's just let's just go let's just choose so i remember m2 and m3 since it's ratio one to one the current mirror so that is the sizes would have to be the same thing so we got 107 right 107 again all the lengths you are fine to make all the length of all transistors same you can choose length you have the freedom of choosing length most times when we want to do the size and we don't want to be varying the length it's just the width want to be varying so you have the freedom to choose just the length you want so again let's just choose 0 0.8 micrometer then 0 0.8 micrometer um times the 107 the approximate value we got and that would be that is the width they were getting width of size um 85.6 so 85.6 so for the two so instead of entering the value one after the other i click this uh, so i can do like this i can just select this after selecting i i press i hold the shift button and select this so both of them will be selected then i just right click 
immediately then um, then don't don't press when you right click you should have um, um, your, your your finger should have been off the shift button then um, edit attribute so edit attribute ensure this preserve and change props is ticked also then I just go ahead and edit so 0 0.8 for length and it's the it's a what it's a 5.6 micro uh, meter for for the width so then okay and from the looks you can see the values changed at the same time so that's a way you can save time if you want to enter same value for multiple devices just select them simultaneously and edit simultaneously so that's the sizing uh, what else what else do we need to fix in let's go i think it's this v in the bias for this so what did we calculate uh, what did we calculate um that 0 0.9 volts so 0 0.9 volts according to our calculation so 0.9 so i think we are now set for simulation we fixed all the values and all so again before you start your simulation you need all of all these things you just um that um you need all these directives to tell um to tell ng spice where to go look those model so that um you know um it, it can match the model you know values and parameters with this uh, very design so you can always get this from the startup window for the skywater and all for me i've been making use of it across all my projects so i just have them all i just need to do is just go to a project i've done before just pick something up so um you can do that too i guess you don't want to two project already so you can just pick them up there so for skyward i pick your own then um also um i need to write the spice directive i think i've written a spice directive somewhere so um <laughs> you'd forgive me i don't want to go through the whole stress of rewriting those things so but you need it right you need you need it yes i know you need it so what i'm what i'm going to do it um so yes the other spice directive there yeah let me do some adjustment first i'm coming um i don't know okay let me move this here move this here Then yeah. Um, maybe I should just. Okay, so I've now arranged everything well. So now I'm, I was talking about the other spice directives. So um, what I'm going to do? So yeah, you have it here. Yeah, so you know how to do that. You just um, look for the code shown um, symbol um, from their scheme. Um, folder um, code oh sorry let me click this so code show I, I usually provide the code show but code show eats up space or you can just use the code anyone 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 would work so you just bring here so what you just do is copy the content of what is here to yours so what I'm going to do is I would open this up so you can see the contents um, so i'll just scroll through so you see the contents of it so um so you can see right so what you can just do is pause the video so you can enter the content on your own side so i'm just doing this so you can see so just copy as is um even with the asterisk that's the comments the ones i've commented out so i just did that for subsequent for the different simulations we're going to carry out so i guess that's 
um, that should be enough you've seen okay so I'm just going to close okay so the next thing um, since we'll be plotting graphs and all and we'll, so we're going to be doing operating point analysis we're going to be doing transient analysis we're going to be doing an AC analysis for this amplifier so we'll be needing graph but for the operating point we don't need graph so but notwithstanding I'll just bring the graph in so you go to simulation graphs click then add waveform graph you click on it so we have a graph here so I, I want two graphs so I can just come again add a form graph and yeah okay so I think we're almost good to go so I that's control S I needed to save my work uh, in my directory yeah as you can see my own directory so I want to call it um, what should be the name what should be the nine 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 um, so common common so CS underscore e e three five two okay yeah so I'm good so uh, please one more thing uh, I'm going to see I'm going to open up this spice directive again um, I want to I want to relabel this thing I want to call it ng spice any name you can give it any name then one more thing um, what I want to do it so please you do me this you do me this favor so scroll down to this point where it's, it says or uh, all this point it says write write common write common source dot raw so you can change it to write so what's the name of the file again I saved it as I saved this work as CSE352 so I'll do so CS underscore E352 oh no three five two so everywhere everywhere you see that common source raw thing so maybe I can just so everywhere I see it I'll just replace okay done um, okay I, I hopefully have you know I've covered up so okay uh, control s again to just save work and then I think we're ready to go so first we'll be starting with let's just do um, I would like us to do the um, operating point analysis first yeah let me just check the time so operating point analysis or let me just stop here and do another video for the operating point analysis so see you in the next video no not only for the operating point analysis for all the analysis operating point um transient and um ac so yeah see you in the next video